Hi everyone, welcome to my AQA GCSE Biology Paper 1 predictions video. So to begin with, I need you to make sure you have learnt your variables. This comes up so often, so make sure you can identify your independent variable. This is what you change, your dependent variable is what you measure, and your control variables are what you keep the same. So a couple of things to mention there, with your dependent variable, what you measure, avoid using the word amount. There's always a better word like length, distance, number, mass, volume. So one of the required practicals, remember, deals with the rate of photosynthesis of pondweed. And what you're measuring there, don't say I'm measuring the rate of photosynthesis. It needs to be tangible. I will count the number of oxygen bubbles released in 60 seconds. The 60 seconds implies the rate. Remember, an improvement you could make here is using a gas syringe because that will more accurately measure the volume. If they ask you about reliability, that's all about repeating the experiment, calculating an average, and excluding any anomalies. Do make sure you're comfortable with plotting graphs. You need to use a small cross for each point rather than a dot. Your dependent variable, what you measure, goes on the y-axis, and your independent variable, what you change, goes on the x-axis. Do make sure that you've included units here and occupy as much of the graph paper as possible. The osmosis required practical remember has an x-axis that starts in the middle of the graph paper and the reason for that is because the potato chips either lose or gain mass depending on which direction osmosis occurs in. Do make sure you can differentiate clearly between osmosis, active transport and diffusion. Now respiration will come up in many guises throughout. Remember respiration is distinct from breathing. Respiration is carried out by mitochondria the equation for it is oxygen plus glucose goes to carbon dioxide and water. Do make sure you can write the balance symbol equation. 6O2 plus C6H12O6 goes to 6CO2 plus 6H2O. The purpose of respiration, remember, is to release energy. So that will come up when we look at the heart topic. Why is it important that the left side of the heart is separate from the right side? That's to prevent the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Because after all, we want oxygenated blood going to respiring cells so that that energy can be released and that will therefore encourage growth. Plants have become an increasingly important topic, so do make sure you know the difference between the xylem and the phloem. Have a look at that leaf structure, the various layers, pay particular attention to the palisade mesophyll. This is where photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast. Remember, it's an endothermic reaction. And remember, the purpose of the chlorophyll is to transfer energy. Don't forget that this topic includes transpiration, so make sure you can list the various factors which affect transpiration and ensure that you can explain them. Do remember the difference between describe and explain. Describe means say what you see on a graph. It requires very little prior science knowledge. Explain means say why. So, for example, to describe an enzyme graph, as the temperature increases, the rate of the enzyme controlled reaction increases. There's your description. Your explanation for that is because the enzymes have more kinetic energy, more enzyme substrate complexes are formed. Whereas if you go above a particular temperature, such as 40 degrees, you'll see a massive decrease in enzyme activity. And that's because the enzymes denature. Make sure you finish your answer. Say what denature means. It means that the active site deforms and the substrate no longer binds. You will be asked about the required practicals. Now I've spent a long time over the last couple of weeks making sure I've gone through every single one of those required practicals in turn, as well as the past paper questions that come along with it. So do check out that video. And remember, if you like the sort of answers, I provide my AQA GCSE Biology Revision Guide available online is the perfect companion to your revision. So I just wanna wish you the best of luck with your exam. Do make sure you read every word, provide an answer to every single question. The examiner does not know who you are. Now is not the time to be shy. Pop your answer down, however silly it might seem. And then after you've sat the exam, come and let me know in the comments below this particular video how it went, because I love to see how you've gotten on.